Hello folks. In this video, I wanted to share a little um, system that I set up. There was a question in the forums. A user had a set of names, um, first and last names of students. This is just a made up bunch of names. And he wanted a drop down list such that if you assigned a student to a class, it would show up with a, in a tab um, down here at the bottom that would then give a list of all the students that were assigned to whatever these classes might be. So the first thing we did was made a list of classes here in column F. And then we took this, uh, this chip here. So let's go there and take a look at data validation. And what this is is saying in this range from C2 to C40, let's take a look here we're going to make a drop down from a range and the range is F2 to F. So if I add another class 4C to this, you would see, um, well, let's say done to that and then take a look at this menu here and notice there is a 4C. So this is a dynamic list. You can keep adding classes and all of these chips will show up with that set of classes. So that, that was how to set it up so that we could assign each student to a class using a data validation list. Now this class doesn't need to be on this data sheet, it could be somewhere else. Then we just made a template sheet and the template sheet is um, a query right here in cell A1 which simply states query data A colon C. So that's, you know, query everything from A to C on this data sheet and select star where C is equal to and in this case you have to use this um, uh, format of single quote double quote ampersand A1 ampersand double quote single quote to reference that cell and then order by A in this case we're, we're going to end up sorting these students um, alphabetically so that's the that's basically the formula that I think the user was looking for. How do you write a query to pull these over? But then in order to make this a little simpler, I went ahead and added an app script. And, and you can see, I've, I've gone ahead and pasted the app script in there, but let's actually look at the app script file. So this is simply a, a simple app script. And by the way, I did um, ask chat GPT to write this script for me. It does a pretty good job. I go in and modify a few things, but as you can see, um, it does a nice job because it gives you the comments and you can see what we're doing. And we get the Exeter spreadsheet, we get the data sheet, we get the names, which is the data sheet range, get those values, filter them as a string, get the template sheet, so we get that by name, and then we loop over the names. And what we do is we say um, the sheet name is equal to names in this um, index row or column zero. Uh, so it comes up with the name of the sheet. And then it checks to see if that sheet already exists, because if it does, the script will error out and tell you that you know the sheet exists. So to avoid that, we put in this line of code. If, if the name exists, just continue, go to the next one. Otherwise, uh, continue on and duplicate the template sheet. So new sheet, template sheet, dot copy to the spreadsheet. Uh, set the new sheet's name to the name from column F. So that's going to be the sheet name. It's going to set the sheet name. And it's going to set the value in cell A1 of the sheet name. So when we look at that, what's going to happen is when we run this script, it's going to look at all of these classes, 1A through 4C, and it's going to, uh, let's go ahead and, and find, uh, let's put a student in 4C just so we can see. So now, and then, uh, you know what I did with these, uh, these images, these are drawings actually, I'll edit that and show you. So I just set up a drawing, type that in there, and then you, um, you have to right click on these if you wanna edit that, and you can see the script that we're using is the duplicate sheet script. So now that we've done all that, I can simply set up class sheets with a single click of a button. It's going to create all of these sheets, 1A through 4C. And because of the way that um, 
the template is set up, it's just going to pull all those students over. Um, generally, this runs a little faster. AppScript script is slowing down for a minute on, on that script right there. Um, oh, I think I was having a bit of an issue with my internet. I'm going to go ahead and dismiss that because it didn't finish. But notice now when I go to 1A, all my students that were in 1A, 1B, 1C, up oh, and look, it did go ahead and finish that up. And there's that, um, there's that uh, file there. Now if I were to go back to data and run the script again, um, it's just going to finish the script because all of these classes already exist. So I don't have to worry about running the script. I could add a new class. Uh, let's say this is going to be 4D, and let me just add a, a new student, uh, you know, Herman, uh, someone named Herman, uh, you know, Josh, Josh Hermans, and this is going to be in our, you know, notice now we're going to have a 4D class. I can run my script again. It should create a 4D class, and there I'm going to see Josh Hermans. Um, and then, if I want to see if this is all working again, I can click the button here to delete all the sheets. And that delete sheet button just gets rid of everything but data and templates so I could start all over if I, if I needed to. So I hope you enjoy this. Uh, it's a combination of using the query. We're using a query here on cell A2. We're using data validation to create these lists. And we are using app script, two different app script uh, files one to delete sheets, one to duplicate sheets.